Smartphones these days have pretty big batteries, but thanks to power-hungry features like 4K cameras and 4K displays, if you use them to their full potential, you can wind up with a dead phone by lunchtime. In the office, where outlets are everywhere, that's not a big deal. But for a weekend out on the water or a long drive into the wilderness, you need something like this. I'm Mr. Mobile, and I've spent five days with the Calipac 601, a portable power station for the outdoor aficionado with deep pockets and strong shoulders. The 601 is the largest of three power generators from Calisaya, and I really can't emphasize large enough. This is nothing like the pocket batteries you're used to plugging your phone into. It's a suitcase-sized power station that tips the scales at about 14 pounds and comes with a shoulder strap in the box. Now, Calisaya does make the most of that space. You get a storage bay for all your phone and tablet chargers and your devices themselves, and there's a dedicated envelope for the included solar panels, too. More on this in a second. On the other side, behind a non-removable cover, is a giant lithium-ion battery, 558 watt-hours. For context, the battery of the Surface laptop I'm writing this review on is a mere 45 watt-hours. Accessing all that power is simple, at least for mobile devices. Two 12-volt DC outputs and four USB Type-A ports can handle most any phone or tablet out there, with charging rates maxing out at about 12 watts. Not the fastest, but it gets the job done. I've used the 601 to power all my devices and some of my family's for much of the past week. That's three or four smartphones, a smartwatch, an iPad Pro, the odd action camera. And it took me four days to drop below the 70% mark. I can tell that with a glance at the power meter, and if I want more detailed info, there's an app that talks to the Calipac over Bluetooth. When you do run down the battery, you can charge it by plugging into AC power, which takes about 10 hours to bring it from empty to full. If you're still out in the field, well, that's where the solar array comes in. Unfold it, plug it in, and point it at the sun, and you can get a theoretical 40 watts of charging power out of the thing, if you're willing to do a little math. See, as I learned during my week with Modern Dad, there's an optimal angle for solar panels, and it's based on your latitude. My testing grounds for the Calipac are located at approximately 41 minutes north latitude. Multiplying that by 0.93 and subtracting 21 it gets me an ideal solar panel angle of 17 degrees. Now, if you didn't bring your protractor camping, well, you can use the app to see how much juice you're getting from our favorite mass of incandescent gas and adjust your angle accordingly. Keep in mind that solar is a pretty slow charging method. Calisaya cites 18 to 19 hours for a full charge, and when you remember that the sun is only up for about 15 hours a day here in the summer, well, solar charging is a stopgap. Fortunately, the battery is big enough that you shouldn't need to use it much over a weekend. The 601 first hit the market over a year ago, so you won't find bleeding edge features like USB-C. Also, I wish Calisaya could have found space for a 110 volt AC plug, as Anchor did on its much smaller powerhouse. Now, this was a conscious decision. The company didn't want to include an AC inverter for a number of reasons, efficiency, weight, cost. But still, I'd really appreciate the convenience. If you do want to charge a laptop, you have to buy a separate plug-in inverter or use a DC adapter. Also, while there's an available raincoat for the device, it's sold separately. Only the solar panels are rated for dust and water resistance. The Calipac itself is not. Given that, I was kind of put off by the $600 price tag, then even more so by Home Depot, which wants a stratospheric $830. But that's coming at this thing from the perspective of a gadget nerd. Turns out that camping and outdoorsy tech routinely runs on the expensive side. At this price tier, the only comparable product I could find in terms of power density and size was the Jackery Power Pro, which is earlier in its life cycle. It's just starting deliveries to Kickstarter backers. Larger power packs from Goal Zero and Energy cost about $1,500. And on the other side, the Anchor Powerhouse doesn't come with solar panels, has a substantially smaller power reserve, and only saves you about 100 bucks. Given all that, the Calipac 601 starts to look like a better deal if you're shopping for a solution to the problem of keeping your gadgets charged on the fringes of civilization. Just be sure to factor in the cost of whatever accessories you're going to want. 
and leave room in your weight calculations for all 14 pounds of this sucker. For more mobile tech from outdoor to indoor, check out Mr. Mobile's channel on YouTube and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.